I can't even get the get the homely girl to like me. Ain't that something? <laughs> I think them, them, them brothers who did that, they wanted me to have a spirit of rejection of me for the rest of my life. Yeah. Are y'all hearing that? Yes, sir. Y'all remember we used to write the notes? Do you like me? <laughs> Y-E-S. Spell yes. It on me to check the box. <laughs> and you sit back and you just wait. And it, it keeps coming back. No! no. Hell no! <laughs> In your dream, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you imagine what happens to a boy's ego and pride if that happens all the time? Yeah, huh? So spirit of rejection come on. Now you just reject. Now the spirit of Ahab sets in on. Now spirit of envy come on because you see all the other guys who are getting the play. Now you just you just envious. <laughs> Not even the ugly one like me. Now you're just envious. Now you jump. Are y'all seeing how these spirits work? Yes, sir. Yes. So in order to, 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 to defeat rejection, man, you got to get this bitter because you was hurt because nobody liked you. How do you overcome that? Envious and jealous. Y'all hear that? Yes, that makes sir. sense? Yes. Now y'all gonna remember that story forever. Remember that time before Grand Pass? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm in fourth grade, and ain't nobody said that to me, Pat. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, don't get me to be envious and jealous. That's what started working in there. <laughs> I think I do remember that. From working in your life, we got to get these bitterness, envy, and jealousy from working in our life, and we'll right. be all right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then, remember the birth of Cain and Abel? Yeah. The first murderer, bitterness, jealousy, and we're going to see rejection yeah. playing out in Cain. Cain took Yahweh's word. As a personal rejection. Y'all know the story, right? Mm -hmm. And Satan gave him the thought to kill his brother. Remember Cain offered up something? Abel offered up something and it was accepted. And Cain saw what he offered was accepted. Then Cain offered something and it was rejected. Then no fire come down. Then nothing happened. Can y'all imagine that? You've been told about the most high all your life. Now here you go offering up what you want to offer up and don't nothing happen. Man. And everybody else saw the fire come down when Abel did it. It just fire just Woo! And it came Abel probably went there again. Watch this. Woosh, fire come down. <laughs> Abel started getting good with it. Like basketball. Woosh, fire come down. Whoa, man, it's I can do this all day. Just keep offering up. Look at the fire come on. It's coming down. They, they, they can't get up there trying to do the same thing mm -hmm. with a different type of nothing happens. Mm -hmm. right? Spirit of rejection came on, didn't it? Being rejected by the Creator. Your human action clearly manifests what is in your heart. Your actions you do will manifest clearly what's in your heart. Have you ever heard somebody say, well, I can't pretend. I'm just too real. I cannot pretend. I'm not going to smile if I don't want to smile on the inside. Mm -hmm. So I wear all of my emotion, wear it on my face. Yep. So somebody do something to you, you see the person. They get that action way in face. Because they can't, they, they got to keep it 100, right? <laughs> <coughs> I can't hide behind, I can't be phony. So I'm going to let you know what I, let, so your human action Clearly manifest what is in your heart. Mm. Sometimes you can clearly see when, some, when something is bothering somebody, mm -hmm. and instead of them just saying, man, this is bothering me, this is what's going on, but they still, they want to beat around a bush and talk about everything else instead of really what's wrong, what's going on, so you can get some help, some deliverance. Right. They go around all of that so that, you know, you still end up in the same place. It's still bothering you. What are we going to do about it? We need to get some have some solutions. But what's in your human action will clearly manifest what is in your heart. What was Cain's actions? Jealousy. Looked at his brother, saw the fire coming on him, no fire on him, he got jealous. Resentment. See, these are the little spirits in front of the bigger spirits, okay? Hatred. I hate, I just hate him because his stuff worked in my bit. You know, I want to be violent towards him because I hate him so much. You said his spirit started work, working out a network coming on. Yes, sir. Unforgive. I ain't going to forgive. <clears throat> Why I hate him. I just hate him. Unforgive 
murder. Cain, being tempted, <laughs> being overwhelmed by these temptations, killed his brother. He killed his brother. Because these things started building up in him, building up in him. There was no deliverance. There was no breakthrough. There was no, he was overwhelmed by all of this stuff that was happening to all these spirits. These are the negative emotions, the, negative, the, the, the sins of what we all struggle with. Everybody in here struggles with jealousy, envy, uh, hatred, violence, you know, yes, maybe sir. not in that order, that, you know, whatever, but unforgiveness. Come on, y'all. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Flat out truth. All right. We must be active in our minds not to allow our hearts to go astray. Mm -hmm. You know, if your mind start wandering off, I'm quite sure, Elder, you can think about something Mother Pierce did to you a long, long time ago. Yeah. If, if you let your mind wander, right? If you let it go there, all of a sudden you end up at that spot, you be like, you know what? I remember 19 so <laughs> Oh, man, that's got on my... Sometimes you can bring it up, like talking about it to sort of just yeah. indulge it. And all of a sudden you start more and more, you start thinking yeah. about it. Yeah. Hold on now. Hold on, you know what? Yeah. And then they tell you a part that you missed. And that's on. <laughs> I didn't know that. Y'all hear that? Yes. I don't mind. And now you are hot. You are upset yeah. because you allowed your mind <laughs> to go to just go off. Now, boy, you had your emotions all over the place. Mm -hmm. I call the customer. Are, are y'all hearing that? Can't do it. Hebrews 4 and 12, what does it say? For the word of Elohim is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. So what we're going to use now, we're going to use this word that's alive. That's what quick means. This word that's alive, this word that's powerful, this word that's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit. We're about to cut some of these things off for you just by the word today. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Yes. That's what we're going to spend the rest of our time doing. I want, we're going to read the word, and we're going to allow that word to be alive. So to be powerful and to be sharper in the twist so, so that this word can start cutting some of these things away. Is that all right? Yes. Come on. A sunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All right, so the rest of this part, we're going to be just reading scriptures to you. And I want you all to relax yourselves and let that word begin to penetrate your inner man. All right, let that word begin to penetrate the inner man and let it begin to cut off the things that these verses are saying, okay? We're going to let the word sink in and we're going to begin to cut away everything that's not like the Most High God that's in our life, that has a grip on us. Remember, these spirits have something in you that they're clinging on to, to remain. So let's get the, just, just use the word. The word is, 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 the, is the sword of the spirit, which is the word. Let it begin to cut. But the words have to be able to penetrate, which means you got to take down the wall. You got to take down the walls so that the word can begin to penetrate you. All right? Let the word penetrate. Y'all want to let the word penetrate? Yes, yes. sir. Yes. All right, so let's get the word and let, let, let's let it penetrate. All right? Come on, John 15, 3 and 5. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. I say, how are you going to be clean? You're going to be clean through the what? The word. The word. Through the word that he's speaking to us. What else to say? Abide in me. See, you got to be clean through the word so that you can abide in the If any man be in Christ, he's a what? A new he creature. Old things are what? Passed, Passed away. away. Old, old things are what? Become new. So you got to be washed by the word first, though. Yes, sir. Come on. Abide in me. Come on. And I in you. See, that's, that's, that's the fellowship. Remember, Yeshua was the word. Yes, sir. So he said, you're going to be clean by this word. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to read the word. And he said, I want you to abide in me, and I'm going to abide in you. What a wonderful connection. Ain't yes, sir. Come on. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. See, the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. Except what? Except it abide in the vine. Come on. No more can ye except ye abide in me. You can't bring forth no fruit unless you abide in Yeshua Mashiach. Hallelujah. You ain't going to bring forth no fruit. Come on. I am the vine. So he made it clear who he was. He's yes. the vine. Come on. Ye are the branches. Yes. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same so branch. can't just be you in him. He got to be in you. It, is, it, it ain't just a one-way street. Yeah. So. You in him and he in you. Okay, come on. The same bringeth forth much fruit. That's how you're going to bring forth some fruit. 
Come on. For without me, ye can do nothing. Without him, you can't do nothing anyway. Hallelujah. Y'all ready for this word to start cutting some things off here? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, we're we going we to go through the word now. All right, let it, let it begin to cut. Come on, brother. Proverbs 4, 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. So right now, let that word begin to sink in. Keeping your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. Your heart is your mind. Keep your heart. Guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. <clears throat> See yourself keeping your heart, standing guard over your heart. Then begin to cut away. Proverbs 4, 24. Put away from thee a froward mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. Come on, let that cut, let that cut, let that sink in. Put away the a froward mouth, and a perverse lips put far from thee. Hallelujah. Some deliverance happening right now. Yeah. Yes. Proverbs 4.25. Let your eyes look forward. Let your eyes look forward. Come on. And your eyelids look straight before you. Let that word cut you. Let, let it begin to sink in. I need to have my eyelids. My eyes full. My eyelids straight before me. I can't look to the left, look to the right. Let the word cut you. Let it cut. Let it cut away those things in you that's not like the most high. Yes. Come on. Consider the path of your feet. Consider the path of your feet. Come on. And all your ways are established. All your ways are established. Right now, your ways are established. Your ways are established. As you consider the path of your feet. Okay. Come on. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. Turn your foot away from evil. Don't go the way of evil. Turn your foot away from evil. Let that word sink down on the inside. <clears throat> don't go to the right. Don't go to the left. Keep your head forward. Eyes straight. Because we're on a straight and narrow way. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And turn your feet away from evil. Come on. Proverbs 14 and 30. A sound heart is the light of the, fle of the life of the flesh. Yes. But envy the rottenness of the bones. A sound heart is the life of the flesh. Father, let my heart be sound. Come on, begin to start saying that to yourself. Father, let my heart be sound. Let my heart be sound. Give me a, give me a sound heart, Father. Give me a sound heart. Give me a sound heart. Sound heart. Sound, sound mind, Father. Sound mind. Let me discard this envy and this rottenness of my bones. I want to discard envy and the rottenness of my bones. In the name of you. Hallelujah. Come on, Proverbs 16 and 24, come on. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, yes. sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Pleasant words, Father, let a lot of pleasant words to be in my mouth. Pleasant words is honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. These pleasant words, Father, that the sword of the Spirit is cutting away everything in me that's not like you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, Proverbs 17 and 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. Father, allow my heart to be merry. Come on, say it to yourself. Come on. You know, declare that. Declare it all. Give me a merry heart. Let, me, let, let this medicine begin to work on me. Come on, let my heart be merry. Let it be like a medicine. Don't let my spirit be so broken. Cause my bones to be dry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing in this play. Hey, y'all, y'all, that's good. That's right. What's about? Proverbs 23 and 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Boy, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So how y'all want to think in your heart today? Like Think like the most high. Think of, mm -hmm. have a, let this mind be in me that was also in Christ. Father, I would think about... Those things that are of good report, the being virtue, being praise, think on these things. Yes. Think things that are honest, think things that are just, of a good report, the being virtue, being praise, think on these things. Psalms 26 and 2, what did it say? Examine me, O Yahweh, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. Mm. What, what a way to talk to the Father that won't have Examine me. How do people want the most how to examine you? Yes. 
Examine my inward man, Father. Examine, examine me. Prove me. Try my reins and my heart. Come on, begin to just say that to the Father. Yeah. Examine me, Father. Yeah. Examine me. The things that I don't even know about myself. They're down there. They're, they're on the inside. But prove me. Prove my commitment to you. Try me. Try the reins of my heart. Help me to walk in this truth. Hallelujah. Saint Corinthians ten and two. What it say? But I beseech you that ye may that I may be bold, not be bold when I am present with that confidence. Whereas I think to be bold against some, which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. Hallelujah. Come on. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. We walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yah to the pulling down of strongholds. Y'all hear it now? Get that one in. That's a good one now. Yes. Pull down them strongholds, Father. The weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through Yah. Mm -hmm. Casting down imaginations Come and on, every cast high down thing. Every imagination. Cast, cast down every thought. Because you allow sin to come in, you get all these thoughts running around. Cast down those thoughts. Though. Cast them down. And every high thing, these high thoughts that keeps exalting itself against what you know, the knowledge you got against Yah. And bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. This is deliverance. This is all that's deliverance there. Straight up. Take them doing. thoughts. And cast them down. Get, off, get out of that high seat in my mind. Cast those thoughts down. Thoughts of lust. Thoughts of murder. Thoughts of death. Thoughts of anger. Thoughts of bitterness. Thoughts of resentment. Thoughts of fighting. Thoughts of warring. Cast those thoughts down out of my mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. When your obedience is fulfilled. You, gotta have, you have to be willing to be obedient first before you're going to be able to revenge or avenge disobedience mm -hmm. working and operating in you. Hallelujah. So you have to allow yourself to be obedient to Yahweh's truth and Yahweh's word. Yes. Come on. Do you look on things after the outward appearance? How many people do that all the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You look at things on the outward appearance. Come on. If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let if him... If any man trusts that he is what? He is Christ. If any man, you think that you're Christ. You think that you like the Messiah. Come on. Let him of himself think this again. That as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. So how should you be judging your brother and your sister here? If you think you're Christ, then hey, I can't just be so hard on you. Mm -hmm. Because you're Christ too. <laughs> Woo, what a perspective, ain't yes, sir. That's a maturity. I got, man, hold on. If I'm thinking if I'm Christ and I know I'm jacked up, y'all hear that? Yes. yes. Man, I'm, I, can't, I can't be hard. For, I got to pray for my brothers and my sisters. Right. Because, man, just as I believe that I'm right, I'm walking this thing, man, but I know I got struggles. I know I got this. Maybe they got the same struggles I got too, man. They may need mercy too. Mm -hmm. Mercy shall follow me all, all the, the days, days of, of my life. life. Y'all hear that? Yes, sir. We need his mercy. That's Don't we right. need it? Yes, sir. Let it follow me all the day. Yeah. Father, let that mercy. Hallelujah. Let it Hallelujah. 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 Come on, Hebrews 4.14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the son of Yah, let us hold fast our profession. Let us hold fast to our profession. Come on. We have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. So in other words, he went through the same thing you went through. He cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He said, well, we, do, we don't have a high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Come on. But was in all points tempted like as we are. He was tempted in all points like we are. But guess what? Yet without sin. Yet without sin. Hallelujah. So he already knows and understands your condition. He already knows your situation. It's not a surprise to him. Are y'all hearing that? Yes, sir. It's not a surprise. Yeah. It's not a surprise what you're going through, what you're dealing with. Come on. Let us therefore come boldly. So now we can come boldly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he's, he already knows your problem is not too much for him 
to handle. That's right. That's you ain't right. about to tell them nothing new. There ain't nothing new under the sun. Yeah. So because he's been touched with all points like you have, but without seeing, he said, man, we might as well come boldly. That's right. Not with deceptive speech. Not with masquerading speech. No, we need to come boldly. Come on. To the throne of grace. To the throne of what? Grace. Favor. Come on. That we may obtain mercy. The reason why you're going to the throne of grace it's not to get his favor, mm -hmm. but it's actually to receive what? Mercy. That's how you know favor and mercy are two different things. Yes, sir. You, you're going to the grace not to receive the favor because you're yeah, wicked. Mercy. That's right. <laughs> you're going there just to receive <coughs> some mercy. That's right. That's right. Whoa. Hallelujah. Hey. Let mercy follow me all the days of my life. I'm going to grace. I'm going to his favor. Not to receive grace in his favor. I'm trying to receive some mercy. Because if I can get obtain mercy, ultimately I'm going to what? Find grace. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. If I can get mercy, I'm going to, if I continue on the path of mercy, I'm going to ultimately find grace. grace. And what else? To help in time of need. To help. Yeah. See, grace is only to help. <clears throat> See, some people want to live their whole life in the grace. Mm -hmm. Just give me, let me ride on his fame. Let him, yeah. I want him to carry the footsteps. Just keep on carrying me. Don't put me down. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to be like the man who said, who, 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 what was my footsteps on it? Well, I was carrying. No, just keep carrying me so I ain't never going to see my footsteps. <laughs> just keep carrying me all the way to the end. Let me get to the, let me carry me over the finish line, over the goal, through the storm, through the rain. He ain't doing that. No, he's uh -huh. right. he sure ain't. Right. He said, you're going to go to his throne of grace so that you can get some more. Mercy. Mercy. So that you can find some favor to what? Help in the time of need. In the time of need. Remember, Paul said, a message of Satan has come to buffet me. And I told the Father three times I cried out. And what did he say? My grace is sufficient. My for you. grace is sufficient. That's right. So he found grace to help in time of need because it was a message of Satan buffered out. But Paul was living right there in mercy. And that brief place to live by his mercy. Just get yeah. mercy. Mercy. When he wanted to knock you over the head. And one blow from the father, that's it. You go. <coughs> Y'all hearing that? Imagine if he took Moses out, like he said. Imagine if he wiped out all the children of Israel way back then. Oh, man. Well, we wouldn't be here. Judah, I just wipe them all out. Both of them start with Levi only. <coughs> so I guess we, we would all be Levi then, wouldn't we? <laughs> Are y'all hearing that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> Imagine if Abraham didn't obey. The man ain't about to sacrifice my only son. No. It's my only son. I got to sacrifice. No, that don't make sense. Y'all see that? See what I'm saying? Yes, sir. <coughs> but we can come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. Yes. <coughs> mercy is something that we have to obtain. We have to obtain mercy because we're his people. Father, give us mercy. Yes. Let mercy never depart from my life. Mercy, mm -hmm. Father. Mercy. Sometimes that's all you need to be saying. Mercy. Mm -hmm. Mercy in our, in our stupidity. Mercy in our ignorance. Mercy in our foolishness. Mercy in our arrogance. Hallelujah. Mercy Please, Father, give us in mercy. our stubbornness. Yes. Some of us have such stubborn, stiff necks. He already told us that's how we work. Mm -hmm. But Father, we want to come to your throne of grace so that we can obtain mercy. Mercy. Yes. Just, just yes. give me yes. mercy, Father. Yes. Mercy. And if I can stay in mercy, mm -hmm. <clears throat> stay on your path of righteousness, I'm going to find some grace. I'm going to find some faith. See, mercy is what he gives that you don't really deserve. You yes. don't deserve his mercy. Right. See? Why? Because justice always demands a price. Justice, justice. Come here, John. John represents 
justice. Justice is always looking for the price of sin. He's looking for somebody to pay a price. Come in, Jeremiah. But mercy, keep, keep him. John, you try to come to me. This is mercy. You keep him away from me. Mercy comes and stands between justice. Try to get to me, John. No, no, not like that. Just, just, just like, lightly, lightly trying to come to me. Like push on him a little bit. Just, not hard. Not but just, but just, just come like, come like a, come like a, like, like, no, 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 no. Just, just come like this. Yeah. All right, try to get to me. Okay, uh, keep him away from. Me. Come on, try to, try to get to me, John. Try to get to. Me. This is what mercy does. Justice demands for you to die. Come on, come on, justice, try to get to me. All right? This is what mercy does. Mercy keeps justice away from you. That's good. Are y'all hearing that? Yes, sir. Come on, yes. Keep trying to come to me. And mercy keeps holding you back. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, he came and said, I come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yes. Justice is demanding to get to me. So justice pushed me out the way. Yeshua Abishai pushed me out the way. And he said, all right, justice, now you can let him go. Mercy. Come on and get Yeshua Abishai. Come on and get him, justice. Come on and get him. Now, now, justice is now, hold your hand up, hold that one out. Now, justice is now being appeased. Knife, all right, he's dying. He's on the tree. Y'all following it? This is, remember, this is, what Justice wanted. All Justice wanted to do was to be satisfied. He just wanted Somebody a life for a life. Somebody has to die. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yah is eternal life. See, mercy moved out the way so Justice can get Yahshua Mashiach. But mercy, when you were standing there, held Justice back. Because none of us, our lives, could ever do the job with eradicating sin. For his people. But as soon as Yeshua showed up, he was the perfect candidate. Because without the shedding of blood, there would be what? No remission, no of, remission sin. of sin. So justice has now been satisfied. Because Yeshua Mashiach gave his life. He said, until my hands, I commend my spirit. Nobody took his life. He gave his life up as a willing sacrifice. That's right. And not only did he give his life up, but he was able to. Pick it right back up again. Hallelujah. All right. Hey, pick it right back up again. So now, Yeshua Mashiach is now risen on the third day. Justice has now been appeased. So justice, you, you good, baby. You, you good now. You can go sit down, baby. Just can sit on down. And now, come on, Brother Walter. Grace can come on and take over. For by grace are you saved. Not in of yourself, but it is the gift of Yah. Now grace can come over and take over. Now grace is at the throne of, of the Messiah. This is what Hebrews is talking about. Because now grace is his favor. Grace is his, his ability. <coughs> grace is his favor. Grace is what Messiah is going to do for you. And he says we... Come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. Where's mercy at? Mercy is right there too. So now, Brother Brandon, he can come boldly now to the throne of the Messiah. Are y'all seeing this? Yes, sir. Cry out boldly, brother. Cry out. You need help. Mercy, mercy. <laughs> Come on, mercy. Come on, mercy. Come on, mercy. Go on, mercy. mercy. See that? Come on, Mercy, pick him up. That's what Mercy do. Mercy going mercy gonna to pick you up. Oh, hallelujah. Are, are y'all seeing that? Yes, sir. Come on, Mer Mercy, you got to cover him. You stay with him, Mercy. All right? And now, when he's going through his situation, he's going through his test, he's going through his trial. Come on, Yashu. Send him a little grace. Mercy. Send him oh. a little mercy. Oh, come on and walk on your journey, bro. Oh, <laughs> Are y'all seeing that? Yes, sir. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
without a preacher.